Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about winning every game that you play in Black Ops 3. And the tips used in this video can honestly go hand in hand with any Call of Duty game. Uh, but we're going to be using Black Ops 3 as the example game in this specific video. So the first thing I want to talk about is using an assault rifle. I definitely recommend using an assault rifle over a submachine gun in the case of trying to win every game. We want to play more defensive. We don't want to just throw ourselves out there. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys as well as myself really enjoy rushing and do really, really well rushing. Um, but if we're playing a game like Team Deathmatch where we're trying to stay alive and staying alive is going to be crucial to helping us win the game, um, then we really want to use an assault rifle and play a little bit more defensive. So that's why I recommend running an assault rifle. I feel like you do a lot better and you have a much better chance of winning the game, uh, especially if you have teammates that aren't really good and are kind of just rushing around dying all the time. Uh, I'd recommend using a gun that you're really, really comfortable with. Comfortable with. Obviously, it's going to be easier to use a gun that you know instead of switching it up when you're trying to win a game. Uh, but if you don't really have a class that you feel really, really comfortable winning with, then I'll give you guys my recommended class setup. I use the Man of War with Elo, Quick Draw, Stock, and Rapid Fire. And then the perks that I run are Flak Jacket, Blast Presser, and Dead Silence. This gun is absolutely deadly. This class setup is absolutely deadly. It's so much fun to use, and uh, I really always do well with it, and I'm sure you guys will as well. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is using support score streaks. Uh, a lot of people like to run those high streaks, and depending on what game mode you're playing, they could be useful. Uh, but the chances of you getting them every single game over and over again, and, and that actually helping to, uh, or contributing to you winning the game, are a lot lower than when you run score streaks uh, or, or support score streaks. For example, uh, you know you might work your butt off to get those high streaks, but you might be in a game where someone's going to shoot them down as soon as you get them. And uh, you guys know that it's very, very difficult to continuously get really high kill streaks every single game. Uh, so by running score streaks like a UAV and a counter UAV, we'll pretty much guarantee that we're going to get several of these every single game. And if someone shoots them down, who cares? It's not that hard to get them back. Um, also, support score streaks are going to be helping with our s somewhat crappy teammates because that's most likely what's going to happen. For those of you guys that like playing by yourself, winning is going to be a challenge, uh, especially if you get in games with people that are absolute garbage on your team, which seems to happen a lot. Uh, so we want to be able to help our teammates out as much as possible. So by running a counter UAV and a UAV, we'll guarantee that our teammates will at least have some sort of knowledge to where the enemy team is, and we can pretty much guarantee we're going to increase their chances of getting kills. If we're running uh, score streaks that are more, um, you know, like lightning strikes and those higher, like the helicopters and stuff, we might get more kills ourselves. But just because we're going 20 and 3 doesn't mean there's another guy on our team that's going 3 and 20. So we want to run score streaks that are going to help out our teammates as well as ourselves. So that's why I recommend running the UAV, the counter UAV, and then I run the Hellstorm missile. You can run the hater if you want. Uh, I feel like that's a little bit of a high score streak. Not not a lot of people get those all the time. Um, so I run a Hellstorm missile. You're pretty much guaranteed a kill if you know how to use it, sometimes even more than one. Uh, so UAV, counter UAV, and Hellstorm are probably the three best score streaks to go with when trying to win every game that you play. Third tip that I have is to play with friends. This is very, very important. You guys know how it is. If you play with friends, you generally do better because you're communicating and you know who you're playing with. You're used to their play styles. Um, and if you don't have friends to play with, try to play with randoms. Pick up people in lobbies. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like to be social and pick up random people. But if you're in a game and you see someone doing really, really good and you did pretty well and you think that he'll join up with you, might as well invite him. You don't even have to talk. Just you know, send him a message. Be like, hey, I'm trying to win. You're really good. Let's link up. And the, the chances are they're going to join you. Um, because there's no reason not to, right? If you know you're going to have someone good on your team, you might as well so that you can guarantee you're going to have a good chance of winning. So if you don't have any friends on, try to get some randoms. I know there's a lot of different forums and websites that you can go through to find people. Um, you can use like Twitter. Uh, but honestly, you don't really have to go that hard. You can, you can really just be in a game and find the good people yourself and uh, and get and link up with them and do well. So the last thing I want to talk about is knowing your role in the game. This could go either way. If you're playing with friends, it's a lot easier to know what role you're going to be playing because you'll know if your teammates are going to play uh, the objective or who's going to be the slayer. But when it comes to playing solo, you kind of have to figure that out on your own. If you're playing domination and you're in a game and you see that almost your entire team is going for the flags, there's a good chance that you can stay back and be a slayer and know that you're still going to do well in the game and still win the game. Uh, whereas, you know, if you're in a game of domination and no one on your team is playing the objective, it's going to be really, really challenging, but you know that you have to be the objective player. And this happens a lot, especially with domination. People that go in and play solo find out that there's a lot of people in domination that aren't actually <laughs> playing domination. They're just there to get kills. So try to find your role. It's much easier when you're playing with, with friends or even randoms. You can kind of just let them know what you're going to do so they can be aware of that and, uh, and kind of play around you. Uh, but know your role. Play with friends or randoms. Use support 
short score streaks, and use a gun that you're really comfortable with, guys. That's going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy these tips. Hopefully, they will help you guys out some, somewhat at least. Um, I do have another channel where I upload vlog S type videos. I highly recommend you check those out. They're a lot of fun to do. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go check those out. Uh, but again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.